So at first glance, the difference between the Galaxy Note 7 and the Galaxy S7 Edge may look minimal to the casual user, but they actually it actually might akin to being a difference between Batman and Robin between both devices. Of course, Batman being the Galaxy Note 7 and Galaxy S7 Edge being Robin. Of course, Batman has a bigger utility belt. So taking a look at both devices, they are dual curved edges. Although the curved edges are different for both devices, as you can see, it's a little bit more pronounced on the Galaxy S7 Edge as it compares to the Galaxy Note 7. The Note 7 has a better feel and grip and you can see it's also wider berth in terms of uh, the device. Now when you're talking about things like the camera, they're both the same. When you're talking about the processor, it's the same. The amount of RAM, it's the same. Uh, at a Snapdragon 820, 12 megapixel camera, uh, 4 gigs of RAM. But storage is where the differences start. So you've got 64 gigabytes standard storage and you have 32 on the Galaxy S7 edge. Also, there's a difference between the connectors. Uh, the, the Note 7 has moved up to a uh, USB Type-C port with fast charging as well as wireless charging built in. And uh, the Galaxy S7 Edge is still in with uh, micro USB uh, charging ports. So that there brings us to, of course, the big thing that makes the changes and really is that huge utility belt. I am talking about the S Pen which is a changing point of course between both devices the s pen has been improved it is slimmer it's also much more responsive much better to actually write with because i have terrible handwriting you've also got a translate function built into the s pen which allows you to hover over words and translate them from you know from french to english from portuguese to english since i only speak english everything will be translated to english in my case but you have that built into the s pen making it a little more functional and you don't have to actually make google searches to actually make uh, do your translation now uh the displays are both the same they both QHD displays. They have the same resolution as also the same PPI. Um, and um, in terms of performance, so the Galaxy uh, S7 Edge seems a little slower, of course, now compared to the Galaxy uh, Note 7. Now, uh, both of these devices have front-facing cameras, but you notice there is an iris scanner on the Galaxy Note 7 uh, on the right, which actually takes things to a very different level as we take a look at that because this gives you an added level level of security. Now the iris scanner is also tied into the NOC security system. So what that means is that you can set it up with a unique identifier. Yes, your fingerprint can be copied, your iris cannot be. And the scanner uh, scans each of your irises, maps them out, so it's actually uh, something that is only identified by you your eyes. So I think this goes a long way in separating this and making this more of a business centric device. That power user that wants that kind of protection and usability, this is what it actually does for you. Now we do know the Galaxy S7 Edge is a water resistant device, but as you can see quite clearly here, it's, it's really hard to actually navigate or use the device with water on it. It just protects it. Now the Galaxy Note 7 takes that a little further. It is water resistant. The S Pen is water resistant. Uh, and what happens happens is you can actually navigate your device with water on it. So using your S Pen, you can underwater, play a game, write, do whatever you want. That takes it a little further than what uh, the Galaxy S7 Edge actually does. Now you may think, well, this is not really useful, but think about it this way. Say you are out, it's raining, but you need to take a quick note. You can actually just write it down with your S Pen, which is actually pretty cool. Now the Galaxy uh, S so you can also view HDR content on your Galaxy Note 7 and record yours off the camera. Now, when you look at both devices, you're saying, yes, there's a lot of similarities, especially when it comes to specs. Similar display, similar processor, similar RAM, um, similar edge, curved edge displays. But the difference here lies between its functionality. The S7 Edge is a wonderful device, but it's really a consumption device with a unique display and some great added features. The Galaxy Note 7 really hits it on functionality. And this is where it is. It, this is a productivity device that the S Pen adds a lot to more, the iris scanner adds a lot more to it, and also even things like HDR contents too. So hopefully this actually helped you guys see the differences between the Galaxy Note 7 and the S7 Edge. If you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. If you think it's still the same, let me know also. Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and always enjoy your entertainment.